morning everyone grand rising i hope that you guys are rising from a stunning mushy gushy yummy yummy virgo new moon i certainly got hella downloads the way that my journal is going <laughs> from last night um if you don't know who i am hi i'm marla lou she they got a sparrow pronouns i am an award-winning performer internationally published model a community organizer by way of the being founder and ceo of claim our space now which is an organization ritualizing community care and action to dismantle what white supremacy and save all black lives um so one thing if you don't know also another bit of news is that i'm about to be on the road with Hades Town, the myth the musical um and and I have three more days in New York City. <laughs> um, and one thing that I have always been leaning into, especially in the midst of all the um, dysfunction and transformation that has been happening um, since the lockdown in 2020, um, is leaning into my own personal ritual to one, stay sane, to find power not only in my creativity but also in my day-to-day -day life um, and ways that I do that I just went through with my daily movement practice in my parade bodysuit which I happen to have on um, if you're a parade doll Marla Lou underscore if you want to get so a little 20% off at the end of your shopping journey um, but also don't it's fine um, what I wanted to say was that I'm post getting into daily movement um, I get into some daily affirmations and daily pulls with my tarot which is newer to my practice so without further ado um, I'm gonna take a little sip of my protein because that window is closing good morning everyone who is here I hope that you guys again are rising wonderfully in this new moon um, a new moon energy that is still cascading into our day um, and yes if you don't know I use paper therapy both of these decks are black owned by friends and of uh, gifted by friends as well um, and so yeah some things about tea I'm closer to my packing journey which is great um, with three days left I still have to get a couple boxes from FedEx to ship out some winter stuff to LA to be there for my LA opening as fate three and um, I will probably start learning the Persephone track when I'm in LA so it's just been go, 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 go. Um, a couple more days, we are just running through act two. Hopefully we're supposed to get on a Saturday to, um, a, a, what, did, what did Joel say? He, he said not a, a walk through or a stumble through, but a, a waddle through of the act one and act two of the show. Um, if you don't know what the show is all about, it is a movement piece, one that is very aligned with the work that I do with Claim Our Space Now. Mm -hmm. um, slow and steady wins the race. And so part of this deck is writing at least two cards um, off of your own volition. Um, and this is one that I wrote when I was, you know, amidst, like I mentioned at the top of this video, I am a lot of things. I am multi-powered muse on a mission is something that I've been called recently and I'm holding on to that uh, because that power really does come from um, learning and um, extending into my ritual. Um, and what I said is I will not exhaust myself to achieve my dreams. I will not and rest is my fuel so that's the first thing that's popped out and then uh-huh another affirmation is my obstacles are moving out of my way my path is most certainly carved towards greatness and so is yours so I hope that that empowers you to um, not only write your intentions if you haven't for your new moon uh, cycle if you are whether you believe in the the mushy gushy of the uh, powers of the universe to lean and um, blend in with your visions, especially when you work towards them, right, writing them into existence is what my whole story has been about since I emerged from the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's a whole other story for another time, um, which I do with my <laughs> cabaret called A Goddess Reborn. Um, but uh, without further ado, this deck is called the Black Femme Tarot deck. Um, like I said, I was gifted them for my birthday uh, recently, which was very, very, it feels like it was a year ago, but July 17th is my day. Um, another story time moment is that I booked Hades Town on the seventh time, um, and seven is just a number that will continue to follow me um, through, my, through my life. So um, may this pull be in alignment with my highest good. Um, and something I experienced yesterday, um, a friend of mine popped into the live and I pulled a card. I was like, I don't know if this is for me, but I, you know, who knows? And they texted me like, yeah, that, that card. 
<laughs> what's for me so if i make a face and it's like mm, not sure if this is for me it's probably uh i'll lend to you and feel free to dm me or to text me and um i can send a picture of the recap of what we pull so without further ado i have to warm up after this um and then i'm gonna go see my grandma because she made me some soup um, if you don't know, I'm also Haitian. Um, so one thing I'm gonna be missing on the road is some home cooked meals, um, some time with my grandmother who is truly my guiding light as the caregiver and lover of um, community since we, she got to the States when she was 50. Um, one thing that just popped out is the Page of Pentacles is pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I said, Page of Pentacles, yes. Um, I flipped it over before I really ever read it. So, um, but yeah, like uh, being able to spend some time with her um, is really why I even moved back to New York after I left, um, after I came back from tour the first time, which was with Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Um, so any moment that I can spend with her is one of, of joy and light. I'm also gonna see my auntie and my <clears throat> younger cousin. Um, uh, I, <laughs> my kidney. I'm probably gonna post some pictures of him. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, he's turning to uh, next summer, and I haven't seen him a whole lot since um, his one or half birthday, um, which was last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep shuffling. What else is going on in this here crazy life? I told y'all I'm packing. I told y'all. Hold on. Before <laughs> we're gonna take that again. All right. See, it always pops out the way it's supposed to. Ace of Swords and King of Swords. Court. um so that's what i was saying um i'm gonna visit it's been like a family oriented kind of space um but without getting too deep up in it the page of pentacles is calling on me oh financial opportunity ambition and manifestation honey yes um focus and determination right now will lead you to the goals you want to achieve as you're laying uh the foundation for future success that's what this new moon has been about the way i said project task 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 it, it was just like shooting out my brain child um and an oozing way too it was just very comfort comforting to to see my my brain activated at that time last night um it can indicate good news and in my own personal life that we could get into that um the distinction between like building a community force versus like tending to my own personal power and force at another time um but more to come always it's always a it's, it's giving like the peak petals of a flower uh carnations that i happen to be looking at which have been surviving this is like a week and a half now they're still gorge they're not rotting <laughs> anyway um so yes that's what the page of pentacles is speaking into my life financial opportunity ambition and manifestation especially for the stuff you coming on this verb on the moon Y'all gonna be sick of me. Um, it can indicate good news in regards to money, education, health, or business related matters. Inshallah. Um, Ace of Swords. <laughs> New ideas, success, mental clarity. I'm gonna go ahead and point this because I didn't um, put it earlier. Um, so you're entering a period of intellectual newness, fresh outlooks, ideas, plans, and possibilities may be coming to you right now. My inbox? Yeah. Her. Hi Nicole, good morning. I hope you're well. I hope you're rising in this new moon with mwah, with love and personal, like tending to your own personal uh, well-being, not with projects that you're, because I know you be in here, out here all the time. Um, so extending that same love to you. Keep yourself open to new downloads. Mm -hmm, like I said, and put plans in action where necessary. Can indicate a good omen for legal matters. <laughs> That cackle um, comes from a real place and more to be revealed. More to be revealed. King of Swords. <laughs> um, it is also upright. All three of these cards popped out upright. Um, you are in your mental bag right now. You know exactly what you think, feel, and want out of any given situation. It took us a while to get here, but baby, we're here. We are here. It's been a long five years. It's been a long eight years if you extend back to the Jimmy Awards. But um yeah just just feeling very very whole and um in my mental bag like you see uh i want out of any good yes your ambition and solid boundaries ensure that you can achieve whatever you go after <laughs> keep a clear mind and use your logic to guide you through turbulent storms come on legal man okay 
Well, that's the that's the poll for uh, today, and I'm excited to one continue to tend to this here body because, like I said, I do daily movement before I do my daily affirmations. So this protein is about to get glug glug glugged right after this. Um, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Happy Friday! Is it Friday? I think it is. I totally forgot the, the days. This it's like wake up rehearsal, wake up rehearsal, wake up rehearsal, and it all is the same. So. Um, different but you know what i mean anyhow i hope you have an amazing day we'll talk soon until next time for daily tape and pulse with marla Lou. bye y'all